Hi all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Village Designs and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to paint a pretty poinciera with a mandala center on a ceramic mug. I want to thank you all for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe. Give me a like if you enjoyed this content. I'd certainly like to hear a comment or see a comment from you about whether you enjoyed this particular uh, style of combining the two art forms together um, and whether you'd like to see more of this. Thanks again for joining me. The tools and materials I'll use for this project include uh, the paint, and we'll talk, uh, look at that in just a second. I also have a ceramic mug that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can pick this up. Any color would be nice. I used a black, but you could use lots of different colors. We will use a brush. I'm using a number 12 flat, and then I'm also using my dotting tool set. For the paint, I'm using the Deco Art Americana Gloss Enamels in True Red, White, Primary Yellow, Festive Green, and Glorious Gold. And here's the 12, number 12 flat and my regular dotting tools. To get started, I've got the ceramic mug and I will take a little bit of alcohol and just clean that mug off really, really well so that I don't have any dirt or oil or anything on the mug. So to make the mandalas, I'll start off with a J10 six millimeter for the center. And I'm just placing three, I'm gonna have three poinsettias on this mug. So I'm just randomly placing them in various positions around the mug. Keeping in mind, I don't wanna to go too high uh, because you really should not have that paint at the top edge of the mug. And then I will dot around with a smaller nail dotter, 12 dots around. Uh, don't crowd your dots, so if you need to put less than 12, uh, that's fine too. You just want to get uh, the mandala center going. And that's as much as I'm going to do for the mandala center at this moment. And I'll go ahead and now I'm going to start painting the actual poinsettia. I will start with the leaves and I'm using the festive green and the primary yellow and I will double load my brush with that. So I will pick up a little uh, on one corner of the brush of the festive green and a little bit of the primary yellow on the other corner of the brush and I will move that back and forth until my brush is fairly well loaded and you can start to see the gradation of the two colors of yellow and green merging together. Once I have my brush loaded, it's time to just start making the poinsettias. This is really easy with the um, flat brush. Just go ahead and load it and place it on the surface and I'll kind of wiggle it on one side and then the other side so that I get a nice leaf shape. And you can make these leaf shapes however you wish. One thing about this uh, paint, I'm using the gloss enamels and actually it's been this way with any paint I've tried, is that it's a little bit sheer on the slick surface of the mug. Now I'm going to bake this um, at the end so it'll be dishwasher safe and it'll be permanent after I've cured it properly. Um, but it's sheer so if you want to go ahead and get one coat down, let it dry and come back in and put another coat, light coat on top, you'll get a little bit more depth of color. So I'm starting with my leaves and you can see that I'm placing those fairly far out from the center of the mandala. So I'm placing the green of the, the uh, poinsettia, the green leaves, and then I'm gonna go back in with the red and I'll start to come a little bit closer to that mandala center. So again, I'm just randomly placing this and sort of a rule of thumb is to try to get like five or so leaves around um, the center of that mandala. And that's not tried and true. I don't always follow that, but it's general practice or a good rule that you can just get five leaves and then you can start to fill it in. This is a really fun uh, technique and I think it really looks great. So see how I'm pulling that brush? I press down and then I release up and sort of twist it a little bit to get the shape of the leaf. And I'll do that around all three of the mandala centers that I painted. And again, I'm keeping those leaves uh, a, a little bit of a distance. Uh, they're not right up against the center. 
Some are a little bit larger, some are a little bit smaller, and that's uh, how a natural poinsettia would look with the variation of the leaves. Now I'm going to go in with the true red and the white. I'm going to clean my brush off, make sure that it's uh, I've taken all the excess water out of that brush. I'm going to load it the same way. So white on one corner and then I'll have red on the other corner and I'm going to load that brush so I get a nice grade uh, gradation from the white to the red so I get a little pink center. And I'm facing my brush so that the white is in the center but it really doesn't matter. Um, and I can actually vary that as I'm painting the poinsettia because there's a lot of variation in how the poinsettias look. And I'm just going to start to fill in around those leaves. Sometimes I'll go over the leaf and that's okay if you pick up a little bit of that green. Um, I think that's great too because that just gives you another little depth of color. So I just pick up some extra paint when I need to reload my brush. And notice that I'm still not right up against the center. I'm going to place the larger uh, red and white uh, leaves and then I'm going to go back in and put some smaller ones in. Isn't that pretty the way we this looks? And even though the paint's a little bit sheer and I can see the black peeking through, I, I think that actually adds a little bit of depth and complexity to the color. Now I'm going to go in and put some slightly smaller ones. And I'll just twist that brush a little bit to come up on the edge and put some of the little uh, stems there. You can paint the first round and then come back in and add more if you want. So I'm just varying the color actually and also the number of um, leaves that I'll put on this. I'll move on to the next one and do the same thing. Again, just varying how many I put and uh, even the colors that I'm putting down. I'm not overworking this. I'm really kind of giving a, a sort of a sort of natural look to this. Um, it's not real precise. It's a more of a natural uh, leaf that I'm going for. So I'm really enjoying the combination of the one stroke painting and the mandalas uh, dot painting. I think those that's a really nice combination. And I think the uh, poinsettia mug is really, really pretty. So again, I'm just going to keep putting these. I'm see you can see here that I'm actually overlapping the green. And that gives me um, some nice uh, variation to the color and also uh, by changing out how big I'm making these leaves I get a little um, a little chance to add some depth here. Sometimes the paint is more red, sometimes it's more pink, sometimes it's more white and uh, that helps you give a little bit of definition to the to the leaves. And this is all sort of you know as you're as you're painting, you're sort of deciding how many of these leaves you need to put on. And when you need to refresh your paint, just add a little bit more. One other thing you'll notice is sometimes the red's on the outside and the, the white is on the inside. Sometimes I change that up. There's no real rule here. You're just going for a look.
kind of refine that with my uh, nail if I need to. And I'll just keep adding these wherever I think I have a little bit of gap. Notice again that I'm not crowding that center mandala. There'll be a little bit of black uh, that's showing around. I'm going to go back in and do some additional dotting, but I'm not, I'm not necessarily right up against that, um, that mandala center. And just pull those stems down a little bit. All right, this is how we're looking at this step. Now, you could set this aside to dry. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and kind of look it over and fill in a little bit more. I feel like I, I could use it just a few more leaves. Um, you can add more or not um, as you, you know, as you look at your design, uh, you may decide that, uh, yeah, I need a few more or, or not. I'm not going to add a whole lot. Okay, now I am ready to start dotting again. So I'm going in with the white and a smaller nail dotter, and I'm just going to start to fill out the mandala. So I'm going in between the uh, previous row of red dots and adding a bit of white. All right, now I'm going to go in with a festive green and the same size nail dotter. And I will do a row of green in between those white dots from the previous row. See how there's still a little bit of black space so that you kind of see the definition of the leaves. I think that looks great. So I don't want you to be intimidated by by um, trying to paint like this if you're not used to it. I think um, just you know practice on a little bit of cardstock or even on one of these you know dollar mugs. They're they're certainly um, you know affordable, and uh, you're able then to um, if you like it, you'll have a project that you're pleased with. So that's the 
primary dotting and the petals. Now I'm going to let that dry and I'm coming back in now and I'm going to go in with Glorious Gold and I'm just going to start doing some accenting. So I'm using my G6 four millimeter and I will place a top dot on the center of the red. And then I will use that gold and I'm just going to, on the leaves, place a little bit of the gold. And I'm just randomly I place random uh, gold dots on the leaves themselves. Now I'm just placing it around the mug and there's my finished piece. Now to cure this, you do need to uh, follow the manufacturer's instructions and you need to let this paint cure for four days. And then to make it dishwasher safe, um, go ahead and put the, the finished piece in a cool oven, set the temperature to your, of your oven, oven to 325, bake it for 30 minutes, and then cool it with the oven door partially open. Don't take the piece out, just let it cool uh, naturally in the oven. And then you should have a piece that's dishwasher safe. I have had good success um, with these items being dishwasher safe on the top rack. Generally, I kind of hand wash them, but I have put them through the dishwasher and they've turned out great. So that is it, a quick and simple uh, poinsettia mug that I think you'll really enjoy painting and you certainly will enjoy having this in your home um, or uh, giving it as a gift. I wanna thank you so much for joining me in my studio today. Please don't forget to subscribe, give me, leave me a comment, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for joining me, take care.